Hi friends, welcome to my channel. My name is Alamora and I make tiny pixel art. In this video, I will demonstrate the simple three-step process I use to create pixel art sub badges for Twitch. I'm also giving away the final version of the wizard hat badges for free. Link in the description below. So where do we start? Starting with a blank canvas is always the hardest part, so let's not do that. Draw a blob. That's right, a blob. Pick a colour, any colour, and just draw a blob. Right, now that we are successfully over the hardest part of starting our drawing, we can get on to what we actually want to draw. Now I want to get the overall shape of the hat figured out first. So I use references as a guide, as it makes figuring out the curves and shadows a bit easier. If I don't already have a reference in mind, I'll just Google it. And if I'm really struggling, I'll add pixel art to the search to see how others have figured it out. So choose your base colors. These can be changed at any time, of course. I've chosen the EDG32 color palette, which is an absolute favorite of mine. This palette was created by Endeska, who is an indie game developer from New Zealand, currently developing a game called Nykra. Link to his Twitter in the description below. Now that I've got the overall base of the hat drawn and the colors picked out, I move on to step two, duplicate and style. I was inspired by old school RuneScape when considering the tiers of wizard hats I wanted. Let's get this out real quick. Yes, I was a huge RuneScape nerd. I would still consider it one of my favorite games. Okay, moving on. In RuneScape, the standard armor tiers are bronze, iron, black, mithril, adamant, rune, and dragon. I incorporated some of these tiers into my four wizard hats, brown, blue, pink, and black. You can also get gold trim armor in RuneScape, which is what inspired the black, white, and gold trims on the second and third sets of hats. The best way I've found to quickly change colors after duplicating the design is to highlight the area, then use what's called replace color. This is the feature in Aceprite. You can access it by going to edit in the top menu or just press shift R on your keyboard. And this is great for changing a large area of color. Otherwise, you can just use the fill tool. Now that I've got a few different style of hats, I can move on to the last step. Touch up and finalize. This step is really just about attention to detail. I usually spend way too much time reiterating the details until I'm happy with it. But sometimes I feel stuck and I just can't get it right. So when that happens, I will step away from the art, usually for a day, to give myself a break and let my creativity reset. I tend to come back with a fresh mind and new ideas and refine the piece into something better than what it was the previous day. I actually made a few extra tweaks to the wizard hats post recording, such as extending the bottom by one pixel to make it the exact dimensions of a Twitch sub badge, which is 18 by 18 pixels. Now to finalize. So according to Twitch's sub badge guide, the badge must be uploaded at three different sizes, 18 by 18, 36 by 36, and 72 by 72 pixels, that is. So in Aceprite, that's exporting it at 100%, 200%, and 400%. And that's it. I hope this was helpful in some way. And remember, download my wizard hats for free from the link in the description below. If you enjoyed the video, please give it a like and hit that subscribe button to see my future uploads. If you want to learn more about pixel art, check out my latest video where I talk about why I use color palettes. Thanks for watching and see you in the next one.